Hi, my name's Sandra, and in this video, I'll tell you about the improvements we made for working with section and array data in OASIS Montage 8.2. We took a good look at our various workflows involving sections and arrays with the intent to consolidate, standardize, and update their functionality in OASIS Montage. Our three primary objectives were to allow smooth 2D to 3D interoperability, which implies geo-referencing section data. To increase data storage by eliminating repetition of data, the net outcome of which is speed, and to update functionality to call on new tools. This is a big project that will span over a couple of releases. However, the tools that we implemented to date are now available to you. In this example, I imported some ground penetrating radar data. The time increments are in the AX time channel. These were translated to depths that are in the AX depth channel. The data is geolocated, so I extracted a DM using Seeker, and this information is stored in the SRTM channel. I'm using GPR data to demonstrate this workflow, but the same tools applied to CDI or any other data recorded or processed as a function of depth, time, frequency, or velocity. When recording geophysical array data, the properties depth, elevation, time, frequency, or velocity are normally set by the instrument and use the same increment for all data points. If this is the case, in version 8.2, the increment information for the array can now be stored in the array database channel itself instead of having to be stored in a separate channel. Currently, the GPR channel has no increment information embedded in the arrays. I'll now embed the depth increments in the GPR data arrays. Only channels of the same dimension as the data array are shown in the depth array channel drop list. I can see that the data acquired other attributes from the depth array such as units of feet. Note that the fields in this table are editable. Embedding the information in the array channel saves disk space, input, output, and computation time while making your data more concise and minimizing the potential for error. I could optionally now delete the AX depth channel. Tools that act on data arrays have been modified to take advantage of the new concise way to store the increment information. A separate increment array channel will continue to be supported to honor the situation where the increment spacings are not the same for all data points of their array channel. Working in the opposite direction, I can run the extract array base properties to channel to generate a property array such as depth, time, or velocity from the information inside the header of a sensory array channel. The ability to embed increment information in arrays means that you can now toggle the display of the horizontal axes of an array between a simple indexed presentation and a true horizontal view, which provides a more realistic view of the array profile. Here, the data display is the same with true and equal spacing, but if the samples at depth are further apart, this would be evident when viewing the true X spacing. This is particularly pronounced when viewing EM time decay curves, where the horizontal axis is time. I'll now plot the line paths to see the survey data with a base map. I can see that the six lines were collected at an azimuth of about 30 degrees from north. From the section tools menu, I'll display the data on georeferenced sections for all the lines in the database. The depth array parameter is grayed out as this information is now embedded in the GPR channel header. The surround for section maps has been customized. In fact, if you try to put a base map intended for a plan view on a section grid, you will be directed to use the draw section surround tool, which is in the section tools menu. On the Draw Section Surround tool, I can annotate the distance along the section line. 
The Eastings and Northings will also be added to the map. The legend will plot a trace in plan view and a scale bar. I can see data linking on the section, in plan view, and in the database. In OASIS Montage 8.2, the tools for working with array data have been improved. They allow you to embed increment information into the array channel. In the array viewer, you can view the data with true sample spacing, and you can easily add surround customized for section maps. Most importantly, sections are geo-referenced.